Okay guys, welcome to another Ask Zendler. Now a question that's been popping up is how to embed videos and understanding how to embed uh, YouTube videos. So I'm gonna show you now, we're actually working on the Ask Zendler page. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of embedded these videos in down the bottom uh, so you can sort of see. So I'm gonna jump to my page, which I'm on. And we're going to just add an element here. So I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna add a video block here. So I'm just gonna go. And you can see straight away that we have the ability to actually drop a video from our video library, uh, which we've got. Uh, these are videos that have been uploaded. Obviously I can upload a video and drop it straight in. So let's just do that now. And then we'll look at the embed code. All right, so I'm gonna drop this one in and you're now going to see that that video appears in there so if i was to refresh this it would play this and this would be um, hosted on the zendler platform however you might want to put a youtube video and that's what all of these are okay so it's easy to swap stuff out or even if you put it in there you just click on that element which goes red and click in the settings and you're going to see under settings here that we have a video URL. Now this is what is causing a lot of problems with people because you are putting your YouTube URL straight into there. So when you click this, um, you'll get this come up and then you'll be like, oh, or you're just putting here uh, whatever the link is um, and you'll hope that it will work in there and you can see that it just goes a bit weird so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to put a youtube video straight into here so let's go back to where we were and just put a placeholder video in there for now doesn't matter which one and then i'll show you how we can embed a youtube video so i'm on the youtube page and the last office hours let's put this one in here so i'm going to click on here now yes, we've had 33 so far pause that and if people have probably grabbed this url and put it in there so let's just do that i'll show you what happens when you do that uh we put that in there put that url in there and you get a not a happy face and that's because you just dropped the code in there so uh that's not going to work what we need to do is we need to go and embed code in here so we're going to come into here and you're going to see down the bottom you've got this little share icon now, this is not the URL you wanna grab. You wanna to go to embed here. And this will give you the um, iframe embed codes for a YouTube. Now, what you can do is you can just copy that code there. Really easy, just copy it. Okay, and that's all you need to do. Um, you can play around with these if you want to, but I would suggest you didn't. Put that in there and then come back into your page. And we're just gonna come into here and we're gonna open up the embed. And you're gonna just paste your embed code down there like that. And once you've done that, you're gonna click add. And what happens is, there we go. We have our latest office hours video in there. So if I just save this and we go to the Arsenal page, I'll just show you it working. Let's refresh that. And if we just zoom down here to where the video is put, there we go. We can click that and it's Share going to play. Bits as a process for some. And it's as simple as that. So you just need to make sure that you grab that embed code. So you're doing the share and you're going to the embed code and you're just grabbing that code and dropping it straight into your page. Now, this applies the same for any video that you're putting in there. So when you have your course promo images and those sort of things, you're dropping it in there. And um, it's exactly the same thing. You go to the settings, the red element tab, and you go and drop your embed code straight in there and it's all fine. So that's how you can drop a YouTube video or external um, captured embed code, not necessarily from YouTube, um, and you can drop it straight into your page. So hopefully that's helping you guys out and uh, I'll see you in the next Ask Zenda.